Hey guys, welcome back from an episode of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Last episode we completed our first speedway, the Ocean Speedway, and actually got the <laughs> really annoying skill point there, but today we're going to be doing Aquaria Towers, which is going to be the exact same. It's going to be very annoying. First off, when we go in, you'll actually see that I've got an error. Pretty much my hard drive crashed, and uh, it all saved, so I had to reload a previous save, but here we go. Uh, the main theme of this level is that there is people who have stolen the water off some <laughs> seahorses, and they're, to they're torturing them. You know, it's, it's a bit of blackmail, isn't it? It really is. It really is a massive blackmail. And he even gives it to his friend and not the guy who actually needs it to fill his bathtub. That is just mean. But yes, let's start the world off. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Don't worry, we've got this. So the main, main thing is just to hit buttons and uh, fill it with water. <laughs> So, as soon as we get here, we're going to talk about the actual annoying skill point in this level. It is regarding seaweed. As you can imagine, we're underwater, so of course it's going to be seaweed. And the skill point is to actually get all of the seaweed. Just get all of it, destroy it all. That's how you get the skill point. And to be honest, it's going to be difficult. I ain't going to deny that. It's, this is going to be a very difficult level 200%. And I, I feel like I can do it. Like, I feel like if any anyone can do it, I can do it. And I believe myself, so we're going to pick up all the gems on our way through. One thing I really like about this level is that it's a gradual thing. Like, you're not just constantly in the water, you're actually filling the rooms up with water so you can actually travel like travel around. Like, if you look up here, we'll be able to get up here when it floods, you know? I really like that concept, you know? And you can always in any order you want. You can literally go around and kill all the enemies on the ground like this. Or you could li literally flood it with water and then go, go that way. Of course, if you flood it with water, it would be a lot easier. But the reason why I'm doing it this way is just that way I don't really miss anything and I don't miss any enemies because there is a power up we need to get in this and it's a very useful one and it, 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 we need to get a power up no matter what and it's very useful in the water, that's what I'm going to say. By the way, an extra life there, let's fill this room anyway with water. So I'm pretty sure there's a limit on how much water can actually be in the room. Um, as you can see, like it is getting higher and higher, but like I'm pretty sure when once we've actually got it down, there's no way for us to drain the water unless we actually go back through the level, like restart the level ourselves. So once we actually get these areas filled up, we won't be going back through. Like there's no reason to go back through, pretty much. There's not one single reason. So we just need to make sure that we don't miss anything because we'll have to go back through. And like yes, there's an orb like where we have to go back through, but right now. There's no real reason for us to like if that makes sense. There's no motive to actually go back through the level right now Of course later on there will be also by the way money bags is in this level and he is is ripping us off for something Which we can't use yet. That's what I'm gonna say like there's something he's gonna do in this level Which makes zero sense and you have to pay him for something which it's like ugh. you know speaking of that There's that goddamn bear Hi Spyro you must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. I love how it's got a submarine. It's going to cost a hundred gems. It's a deal. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shark-proof. I guarantee it. Okay, so one thing to be aware of is that sharks, like a lot of containers, die by the super power-ups but if we get in that water we will die ourselves so as you can imagine we can't actually do anything about those sharks right now and it sucks don't worry later on we will have the ability to actually deal with them but right now we don't you know we have to like just pay money bags which sucks i i hate the fact that we have to actually go around the long route as well like we could easily save ourselves like 100 gems if we went like the the lo the like a different route if that makes sense you you, you guys will see why uh, the power-up in this level does link to the whole sharks, so yeah, it's going to make it a lot easier, a lot, lot easier, and I'm really looking forward to that, like, I really like this power-up, and I think this level is designed so much so that it works so well. Oh, by the way, get lost, crab. So, we've actually gone all the way around now. Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. No problem, and that's literally the end of the level. We could leave right now, but... As you know what I'm like, we're still missing quite a few things, like, I'm pretty sure there's going to be 400 gems in this level, let's have a look, 400 gems and 3 orbs, okay, so, looks like we are missing, uh, quite a few things, you know, which we need to go back and actually get, which isn't going to be too bad, but, like, the super, the super power should be activated, which is Super Flame. 
So now we're going to go back and actually destroy those sharks with the super flame. Because remember, we can actually use super flame, like, in the water. One thing to be aware of is that if you get close to the shark, the sharks will still kill you. So just stay away. By the way, I love how the sharks actually count as, like, an enemy. Like, an actual enemy you can kill. I'm pretty sure there's some enemies right at the start. There's some sharks over here, which we're going to kill as well. Uh, you need the super flame to actually destroy these sharks. So it, if you want to go for 100%, you need to actually go back through the level. I, I hate the fact like we've literally just paid money bags like about a minute ago and now we don't even need like we don't we don't even need to pay pay him for anything you know it's, it's just like ugh. so you're probably thinking we've explored everything in this world now what am I missing well this world has actually got a really hidden thing right up here boom straight up here there's a whole nother world on top of everything like look at this world and this is pretty pretty much where all the seaweed is um, I pr I'm pretty sure we have to destroy the seaweed. I think we do. I think that's a skill point. Um, let's have a look. Come into it. I don't know how I'm meant to do this. One minute. Just give me one moment. So, yeah, we need to destroy all the seaweed. No idea how we're going to do that. Like, especially in the vanilla game. But there's got to be a way to do it. Like, is it class of seaweed? How do we destroy it? Unless. Unless. Okay. Can we pop down here? Get the bloody super flame power up and then circle back around, maybe? Because if that's the case, it's going to be very difficult to do without it. Like, okay, let's pop up here. Will it just vanish or will we get to use it? We okay, the super flame power up is in here, which is great. Okay, there should be some uh, seaweed around here somewhere. Seaweed? Seaweed, okay. How do we do it? Do, do, we, do we just... Oh, yeah, okay. That's how we do it. So we do use the super flame power up. It's going to be annoying. Don't you think? It's going to be very annoying. Uh, we can probably get a few done here. But I don't know how many there is. And the fact that like there's going to be that many of them. Yeah, I love how there's actually the fish from um, Colossus here as well. It makes the world feel very... Not linear, you know? It makes them feel very... Um, a lot bigger. Okay, we've got, we got five of them. Let's pop back down on them and actually have another go. Oh, by the way, uh, there appears to be a lot of gems around here, so keep your eyes open for them. Okay, I know there's the king guy over here, which I don't want to talk to yet. I want to get all the seaweed done. I hope this is... Oh, there's Hunter as well. I hope there's not that much seaweed, because... Ah, oh, seaweed sucks. So yeah, we're back up here. We're going to continue we're looking for that good old seaweed. Okay, I'm going to look around the outskirts first and see if we've actually seen anything we've missed. Um, okay, I knew there was something next to the king. So let's just pop up here and actually get this one here. So that's six. I'm guessing there's going to be around ten. Because ten seems to be the magic number in these old games. If you think about it, like ten is the magic number. Okay, anything else I'm missing here? Let's have a quick look around. Nope, nope. Okay, there is some up here. Well, some coins. So how much seaweed is there? Like... It's annoying because the render distance in this game isn't great, like, so, so you can easily miss some. Um, where is that last, that last bit of seaweed? Because it has to be, like, an X amount, if you think about it. I think what we're going to do right now is just finish getting all the gems, and then we're going to have a quick look around after that. Might get all the orbs as well, and then we'll just come back and actually get the remaining seaweed, because there could be some seaweed around here. Anyway, let's go and talk to Hunter before we actually get on with that. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Okay, so we're going to tame the manta ray. Great. Hop on his back and guide him through each of the rings of bubbles as it appears. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. So yeah, Hunter thinks manta rays are actually... <laughs> like, manta rays are actually cars. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, this mini game, by the way... It's not hard, it's just more... Oh, am I really riding a manta ray? Don't tell Steve Irwin, you know. No, it was a stingray, wasn't it? Never forget. But, like, it's not a hard like minigame. I'm pretty sure the second one is, because there's two layers to this. Well done! I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. I love how everyone's, like... We're meant to help everyone get these orbs, but we're meant to do jobs for them, you know? It's very, very sneaky if you think about it. Like, they're not just going to give us the orbs. We need to actually go out of our way to actually get them. By the way, 16 orbs are over. Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Of course. Okay, good luck. Let's go and get on with it. So, yeah, we, we pretty much have got over a quarter of all the orbs. In part six, these, these, these games aren't too difficult. They're just a lot more chill, and that's what I really like about them. Like, they're, they're not too difficult. Okay, I say that, and like, I'm probably gonna miss one here. Like um, the actual speedway, if you do miss anything, it'll just free straight back at the start. 
Uh, but I feel like it's a lot more easier than the actual um, Speedway. The Speedway's camera was just awkward in this. It's not so bad. Like, it's more, more of just, like, be aware of what's happening and just stay focused. As you can see, we've pretty much got this done now. So let's just keep it going. Come on, come on. Come on, almost there. Incredible. You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. Wow, so, so we literally had two orbs and we had to work for them. He, he didn't want to do it himself, but it does to do them. It's fine, like, 17 orbs isn't too bad, but, you know, it's just mean. So, yeah, we've completed all Hunter's thing, and the last orb we need to get is right over here with the king of the seahorses. What up, king? The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and hidden them in the tops of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors off the towers. Okay, so, uh, it's a terrorist. So what we need to do right now is we need to go into these towers. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. So yeah, we need to go to the top of each tower and actually get his kids safe. And to be honest, they're not even that bad. Literally, you just go up to the top. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of electric fence or something, but literally, we just go up to the top and then the next one opens. It's pretty simple. Um, it's not too bad. I'm probably not even going to care about actually getting hit here. I'm just going to run straight in and just YOLO it because... You can just easily replenish your HP, you know, it's not a, a bad thing. By the way, I am still looking for good old gems since we are missing um, 45 gems somewhere in Aquaria Towers. Um, the thing is, I really don't like Aquaria Towers. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I don't like it. I just don't know why, it's just, it seems too, it's too bland for me, if I'm honest. By the way, we've got an extra life there. I'm not complaining. I, I just feel like it's just a generic wall level. I feel like it's too big for what it is, like... Especially with me trying to get all the skill points. Like, I'm trying to find a way out here and I just can't seem to find it. Am I missing something? I just feel like this world is way too big. Don't get me wrong, I do like it because it, it was part of my childhood, but I just feel like it just could be so much better. And I just feel like there's so much empty space in this area. Like, you feel like you're in a fish tank. And yeah, I just wish. I just wish it was a lot easier. By the way, we're looking for number two now, so that's three and four. I'm also looking for some more seaweed to destroy. I have a feeling there's probably going to be some near the sharks. Oh, seaweed right there. Oh, so seaweed isn't just in the stein area. Like, up top, it's literally through the entire level. That's going to be very annoying. Okay, it's fine. So as long as we don't die, we should be fine on the whole um, seaweed thing just to get them all. But, you know, it's going to be pretty annoying to actually get them all. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, there should be a number two around here somewhere. Number two, number two. Where is number two? Okay, I'm going to quick look around here see if there's any seaweed. Nope. Okay, where is number two? I remember, like, on my last play for this game, um, I, I literally could not find number two on that one as well. So, is this number two? Is that number two, the second tower? I don't think it's actually a tower. Okay, let's just continue on then. So, uh, it's cool that you can actually go all the way back through whenever you want. Just, like, circle back through. No need. By the way, Moneybags area is still not flooded. But we could use the thing whenever we want. Ooh, okay, there is some seaweed near the sharks. There's actually quite a few bits of seaweed. Okay, we have to come back through here then. Okay, we're still looking for number two. Why, why, why is number two so hard to find? Okay, is it in here? Number six is in here. Okay, where is number two then? And where's number five? Am I blind? Okay, first of all, what we're going to do is actually going to go and pop back uh, this three and four. I'm going to pop back into to the sharks area and actually get that seaweed there. Okay, I feel like when it's actually on the base of the... How, what can I call it? On the base of the actual um, flooring, like flooring like this, that, that's where the seaweed's going to be. Okay, it's nice to know. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda glad to walk through for this because I would not have any idea of what I would be looking for, so. Okay, there's a few more pieces of seaweed. So there's gotta be like a, at least one or two more pieces of seaweed I've missed. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Like, I'm struggling to find a bloody tower, let alone seaweed, seaweed you know what I mean? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, we're now looking for number two. Number two has to be around here. It can't just be not here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meet you guys when we find number two or more seaweed. Wish me luck. So I've just found some more sharks, and I totally missed that, to be honest. So we're going to go back and get the super flame. I feel like the remaining gems are probably going to be over there. So it looks like there's more than one area of sharks. I actually totally forgot about that. One thing I love about this game, by the way, the sharks look really menacing, and they are really scary. If you do it close to them, they will literally kill you. So uh, be a bit more careful with that, but I'm pretty sure right in here there's some sharks I missed. And there's even some seaweed. Buzz in. Okay, uh, can we a bit lower? Come on, let's get these guys. Come on, come on. We've got to get one of them here. Come on, there's one. There's two. Okay, just keep hitting them. We're probably going to get seaweed here as well. Okay, there's a seaweed. Let's get that seaweed down there. 
And boom, bam, we've got a skill point. Is that literally it? We've got a skill point. Okay, you know you got a skill point when you hear the little ding, as well as an extra life pops up for no reason. So now we are just looking for the good old towers. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's some gems up here which I missed. I just saw it glistening. Okay, yeah, this game works in an engine where if you're far away from gems and they're off screen, you can kind of see a little glisten across the map. So we're only missing 10 gems now, as well as we're missing this this tower situation, which... Oh, there's five. There's five. Okay, so, so do you think two is going to be in here? I don't think it will be. No, I don't think it is. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep looking. Oh, I missed a tower right up here. Oh, wow. I feel like an idiot. I actually feel like a massive idiot for actually missing this tower. I've just been looking around the entire floor for these towers. Cannot find them. And then it turns out they're right up here. I feel like an idiot. Like, I knew there was two towers up here, but I just couldn't find it. Like, that just shows how how much I don't like Aquaria Towers. I just feel like, ooh, there's the last 10 gems, by the way, we needed. Um, I just don't like Aquaria Towers. I feel like it's too big for what it is. Like I mentioned, I just, like, you can easily miss something. And if you play this game and you don't miss something, you must be very good at this game. Because, like, it's so easy just to get lost in this, especially with when you're trying to go for all skill points. Like, you're always looking for something, which is very difficult to do, you know, and you can easily just forget where you are, you know, lose your bearings, but at least we're actually getting on with this level. I can't believe how easy we actually got the skill point, to be honest. Um, like, I thought it was going to be a lot harder, like, and, but, you know, I'm kind of glad we got it done so fast. By the way, like I said, I'm just going to keep tanking the hits because there's no real point actually slowing down to get these. Like, you, there's just so many sheep around here. Uh, by the way, I'm not going to deny I love the sheep in the little, uh, with the little helmets on, you know, so they can breathe underwater. There's no reason to actually worry about getting hit because you can just replenish your HP so quick. So six in there, I'm pretty sure. Seven is just before money bags. Or, uh, not seven. Five is right before, uh, right up here next to money bags. Uh, but yeah, I what the hell? Money bags was on here a second ago when I came through. Do you want to talk again, money bags? Let's talk. Hop aboard, Spyro. Hop aboard. Sp what? I didn't want to go in. God damn it! One thing I do respect about money bags is that you don't have to keep making the same payment just to get across because. It would be very annoying if you had to keep paying every time you use something like that, you know, but then it would make the whole gems thing very limited. Like, you couldn't use something in, in like, X amount of times, you know? Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's around here, number five. It's right over here, isn't it? Which, again, is very hidden away. Let's just put, drive, drive straight up here. Oh, look at that. We did that perfectly that time. No need to worry. And the, then the last one is right at the end. And then this should be the end of the level, which, to be honest, it's been a pretty short level. I, I'm surprised how short this level is. I, like... I keep complaining about it, don't get me wrong, but, like, it seems a lot smaller than what I remember. Like, I don't know why, it just felt so much bigger when I was younger. Even in my last Let's Play, I thought it was massive. And it's still, come, come on, get out, Spyro, now, come on. Okay, there we go. It just feels a lot shorter. And I don't know if it's because I'm more adept with the game and I actually understand how it works a bit more, but I thought, like, I was talking to my girlfriend how long this, get, this recording's gonna take, and I said at least half an hour, 40 minutes, and I haven't even recorded for 20 minutes yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's... That's pretty good. Okay, yes, we did take a, a few dumb hits there, but there you go. We saved all the seahorses. You did it. Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you were collecting these orbs. Please take this one. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, his voice sounds very raspy. You know, like, I'm sorry, I heard you want this one. Uh, thank you very much. By the way, we've actually 100%ed Aquaria Towers now. We've got everything complete, all the skill points. And uh, I think it's about the time we actually go and head to the first boss. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start. We're going to head to the exit. Which, again, I've actually learnt the level a bit more. So right up here is the exit. Let's fly straight through the portal. And uh, can, can I get through the portal, please? That was a bit weird. Uh, and we're going to be going to the next level. But as you can see, all of the actual guys are all happy now. But, uh, oh my god, there's a shark. Oh my god. And it's, it's another seahorse being mean. But, oh my god, who's this? It's another shark. Also, I thought we killed all the sharks. I guess we didn't. Easy enough, I guess we didn't kill them all. News to me. So, we will be heading to the first boss now, which is... It's not difficult, but to actually get, like, 100%, it's going to be difficult. Like, um... Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Okay, Spyro, jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Crush's dungeon. I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck! Okay, so we're going to be doing this level next time. Crush's Dungeon. It's not a hard level, but there is a skill point to get, and we will be trying to get that in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a like, we appreciate it, and I shall see you guys next time for more. 
Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, where we're going to continue gaining all those skill points and fighting Crush. I'll see you guys then. Take care. Peace.